our mother earth has many strange or we can say mysterious places that never ceases to amaze as legends already said that mysterious or the strange places are the most attractive and beautiful places ever known on the earth and in this video we are going to take a ride to the strange places on the earth that science is still trying to understand so let's start the ride with the first place on our list easter island have you ever wondered about who put this giant stone heads on Easter Island and why? Well, researchers discovered that all giant statues not only have heads but also rest of the body, suggesting some kind of theory. Researchers are still discovering about isolated civilization who made these statues and where they came from and where they went. Now talking about the island, it's named as Rapa Nui, an Chilean island in the southern Pacific Ocean. On the map, this island is not visible as it's so small in overall area and is about 3600 km from the Chile. You can travel there only by the plane from Chile. The giant head statues are called Moai and there are about 887 Moai statues around the island. The mind boggles that humans from Stone Age civilization could carve such massive statues from the rock and transport them around the island, which is about 1000 years ago. Also there is one different statue which is in kneeling position and head is directed towards the sky. We will not go deep into it but it is named as Tukuduri representing ancient singer. But what was the purpose of these statues and what was the reason behind it? One of the US studies says that location of this statue was based on nearby fresh water and other resources. Also some of the facing Moai represents the protection of the civilization which lived there. Still it remains mystery. Where civilization gone and why they really made these statues for. Carrying forward the list, the next place is Rainbow Mountain. Have you ever think of walking on rainbow? Well, here we are. The mountain of seven colors, located in a Cusco region of Peru, is attractive as well as challenging trip to travelers. The mountain sides look like they were painted in different colors and some images which you see on the internet are enhanced by Photoshop. But they look a little more natural in person when you visit there and see by your eyes. These colors varies from super bright to dull according to ongoing current weather. If there will be rain or snow, they will be dull. At the same time, super sunny days or at high noon will probably wash out your photographs due to excess lights. The best time to visit to Rainbow Mountain is the morning or evening hours. However, these mountains are difficult to find. It requires several days of hiking to reach its peak, so not recommended for beginners hikers. Also, it is a site of daily worship and offering by local citizens. The different coloration you see on these mountains is due to different environmental conditions and mineralogy. But we don't know the exact meaning of how this line of colors occur and how color strips are so perfect in lines. It still amazes the scientists. Carrying forward the list, the next place is Chatinga. This small village in India become famous for the strange phenomenon of mass bird suicide. You won't believe that over thousand or even more birds are flown to that death over land of Chatinga. This phenomenon occurs between September and November each year. Just after sunset, between 7 to 10 pm, hundreds of birds descended from the sky fall to their deaths by crashing into buildings and trees. Locals believed that evil spirits living in the skies were responsible for bringing down the birds. Of course, this isn't true. 
After scientific study, it has concluded that birds are generally disoriented by the monsoon fog. But it is not clear why the birds fly at night or why they get voluntarily trapped at the same place every year. The bird specialists are also confused of the fact that birds are attracted by light and fly towards any object with a light source, even if it's night. Instead, birds have a habit to sleep early. Have you ever seen any bird flying towards your house lights or even near fire in night? No? This strange phenomena is still baffling to bird specialists and scientists. On the next, we have Richard's structure. Also known as the Eye of Sahara, is a geological formation in the Sahara Desert that resembles an enormous bullseye. It is stretched over unbelievable 40 kilometers wide and is located in Mauritania. This richer structure looks beautiful from above, but not so much interesting from the ground. Geologists believe that ice formation began when the supercontinent Pangaea started to pull apart. Of course you have question in mind, what the hell is Pangaea? Pangaea was supercontinent that include all current land masses, believed to have been broken apart to different continents like Asia, America, Africa, in short, that we live on right now. Geologists originally believed that Eye of Sahara was an impact crater, created when an object from space fall onto the surface. But after several studies, it was found that structure's origin is entirely Earth-based. This formation of structure contains the rock that are at least 100 million years old, which is even before the appearance of life on the Earth. Still it amazes the geologists that how the perfect is the round shape created that many years ago and what was the purpose. Next place on the list is the Namibian fairy circles. So this is not about fairy tales, don't worry, but it's about Namib desert which is covered with the regular patterns of bare circles stretched for hundreds of miles, whose actual origin is debated by the researchers. The circle sizes is up to 30 meters and from distance it looks like a case of chicken pox. The local myths that rumor around says that it is a footprint of God or patches of land one poisons by the breath of dragon under the earth's surface. That's definitely not true. The researchers have provided the ways by which these fairy circles are formed. They found that plant competition and termite colonies could both independently create the circle. They also found unusual circles, huge ones more than 20 meters in diameter and chain-like oval ones more than 30 meters long in drainage lines. The researchers who reported their findings do not claim to have an explanation for how every fairy circle forms and also they are situated regular distance from each other. The last but not least, Eternal Flame Falls. Like the name described, a fire that burns eternally behind a stream of cascading water. It is just a small flame that sits under the rocks right behind the waterfall. This is not a god miracle. The source of the fire is the natural gas, which seeps out through crack in rock located at the base of the waterfall. Interesting thing is that fire keeps burning throughout the year, but it can be lit off and again it can be set on fire by a lighter. That's amazing, right? Rhine Street Cell, which is one type of rock located nearly 1300 feet below the surface, is the source of the natural gas for the flame. And the researchers admitted that they are unsure exactly how the gas is being produced. Despite rock's temperature is compared to cup of tea, and it's not possible to produce natural gas. 
scientists are still understanding how this much of gas is being produced that lasted this many years. Hope you enjoyed our video. If you like it, smash that like button. If you dislike it, smash that dislike button twice. Consider subscribing and see you next time.